that have already been affected with um, just the few days of rain so far? Um, well, you know, pretty tall as we all know, again, because of poor sanitation, because of um, carelessness of the past leadership, you know, when we talk about the city council, you know, they've not been doing what they're supposed to be doing. And uh, this is why we're having these erosion problems and we're having these drainage issues and all of that. And um, recently we see um, we, had, we had some rains and rain, and um, I went in and I tried to clear up some areas. Uh, there's certain areas that were prone um, to disaster, places like Kube. Um, the challenge there was a bridge, and I tried to construct that bridge for them. Also, uh, Susan Bay, I'm presently constructing one there also. Uh, Moab, and um, also there's a construction going on for the drainage. And um, of course, uh, you see dump site, um, we see uh, what happened and what's been happening over the years and all. Uh, we've lost lives there. And um, I took my machines there and we're doing some clearing and we opened up the drainage a bit. And uh, we're trying to take it down to the exit side towards the C3 terminal and uh, Climb Town campaign. It's challenging, but we have to do it. And um, I'm not waiting till I become the mayor of Climb Town. Most of these problems, I have to fix them now. I'll do them now. So that's why I'm stepping on. Talking about sanitation, the problem has also been having a dump site and at the end of the day, the waste are not being properly managed. What are your thoughts or plans around the waste management? Well, waste management, for me, the way I look at it here, it's probably most importantly, you see our dump site, they're poorly managed and everything. First of all, we have to manage our dump site. Most importantly, I'll have to relocate. My leadership will relocate, you know, the dump site from in Tom and Kisi to a more appropriate area outside um, Freetown, and then make sure that we use uh, that waste, you know, for energy. We also plug in a bit for electricity. You know, we need to do something with that waste. Uh, I've been saying this, that most of our waste in Freetown is organic. So you can easily, you know, um, move that to energy and the principles that we need more in the Let's talk about what I mentioned. Peter has been suffering from acting to water shutdown over the last two decades or so. Um, what are your plans? Because today you see kids um, getting up from their beds, running behind there just to get water and ensure that they go to school. What are the plans around water? The plans there is, for me, it's, um, it's doable. Um, it's more practical. We'll have to take advantage of um, the geographical location of Freetown. Look at our topography. You can see mountains all over the place in Freetown. Yeah? And uh, most of these mountain areas, majority of them have water catchment. And uh, because of the topography, there's mountains at the top and it runs down to at the bottom, then you see. Come on, let us make use of the catchment stuff. There's certain areas that we need to do mini dam. We'll do it and all. We don't. We don't have the money now to construct a big dam like Boma Valley. We want a um, number two area, or, you know. But with what we have now, with the catchment areas we have, if we look after them and we enhance them properly, of course that will give us enough water supply. So my take is when I come at the mayor of Twitter, that's my most, most, most important, my priority project. For me, the most important thing I'm going to pick is water supply for every household in Twitter. You know, and I'm going to make use of the water catchment. Move from that to sanitation. These are my primary projects, and these are my baby projects, and this is what I want to fix. You understand? Water supply, let's clean for it out. Any other thing, it's second life. You understand? I'm going to do some other stuff and everything. I'm going to make sure, like the PCMH of speed tool, the Connaught of speed tool, make sure our speed tools are one of the best in West Africa. I'm going to have a talk with the Ministry of um, Health, and have to make sure we collaborate. We have to take up the management and estate management of the hospitals and make sure we fix them properly. They have the expertise. They can come in with the professional, the medical doctor. But yes, it's the job of the city council to fix this hospital. You know, we've been in England and we know how the city council run their thing. You understand? Coming here, we should use that background to fix our problem. You know, and I'm and I'm determined, and I know we'll be able to do it. 
talking about sanitation, and I, 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 I talk this back to you. The other day, I had a worker from uh, Moriton Junction to Aberdeen. I said, well, for the time. Then I'll be the beginning of water. I hold a bottle, but then I dump drink the water and not get any um, trash along the way for actually dump the rubber. So I'll be getting for all until I'm going at the last station at Aberdeen. And two side, I'm gliding to the to the cell there and I, I dump and it. So what are the plans around that? Because for many people, they would love to trash their, 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 their rubbish. But if those um, trash plants are not available, then the city would definitely be littered with dirt. What are the plans? Well, again, poor management, poor leadership. Yeah? Um, these are great concerns, like you rightly said, you know, you don't have any dust being, you know, it, it, it's painful. These are things that you can do. You know, there are companies that are ready to do advertisement with dust being and everything. And you can manage, this is, you know, these are not rocket science. You know, my brother, you see, some of these things, the more you talk about it, the more you just want the election to come tomorrow and then finish with it and then get to work. Seriously, all I'm waiting for is for the election date. Let me get to work because these are things that are doable. You understand? You don't even need to use the council money. You understand? There are companies that are ready to do those dust beams, you know, put them around poles, you know? You know, my brother, let's just get to the election. Let us get to the elections, get over these, and let us start working. What are your plans around city beautification, beautifying the Peter and um, city? You know, I don't want to start going out with um, cable cards and all these kind of things and what, you know. For me, these are jokes and everything, you know, and uh, we're, it, it, it's, they're not practical. They're not what we need now and, you know, no, no disrespect, but beautification starts from having proper drinking water in every household. So for me, my beautification is to provide water, you understand, for the household. Let us provide water. Yeah, let us clean free town. The next place we'll talk about beautification. You understand? We'll beautify our city. But how do you want to beautify a city that doesn't have a proper drinking water? You understand? I believe in foundation, my brother. You know? You have to start something from the ground. You understand? Your fundamental upgrading means a lot. You know? If you're not from a proper family, if you don't have a good brought up, you're a different man. You understand? My success today is part of me coming up from a humble family, coming up from a respectable family. You understand? Your fundamental life, your, you know, my brother, this election, when anytime I'm talking about you, talking about what we have to do, what I need to do, it pains me more. Because at the end of the day, I, I could not, I, I'm not sitting here now, there is no way I will comprehend or understand. It, I'm telling you, the fact it beats my comprehension why all the past mayors cannot fix this problem. You understand? So there's no comprehension. There's nothing that you would tell me. The other day, was it yesterday or the other day? I was listening to 98.1 in the morning. You heard what the deputy mayor was saying. You heard what the... Um, 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 one of the councillors, um, what's her name again? Um, Abiyose, what she was saying. My brother, how can you fix a problem when your house is in disrepute? That's poor management. That's purely poor management. It's poor leadership. You understand? You cannot even put your house together. You cannot leave. You understand? For you to be able to deliver, you have to have a proper team. If you don't have the team, if you're always fighting with your team, how can you deliver? We need to free free time. For me, this election is about freedom. It's liberation time. I'm here to liberate Antonio. I'm here to free free time. You understand? We need to do something about this. And that's why I'm stepping up. Let's look at this sensitive area. For many Freetonians, the, the city of Freetown is meant for um, a certain tribe. Over time, that tribe has dominated. And Mohamed Gentil Kamara does not belong to that particular tribe. Now, talking about liberation and the free and, and freedom of the free tribe, how are you hoping to achieve that, to break that deadlock that others have created? First of all, today, you have a native countryman, Mohamed Gentil Kamara, yeah, as the mayoral candidate for the lovely SFP party. You know, that's a step up. 
Yeah? Now, to stop that referring to now, for us to win the election, we have to win. The Creole are not bad people. I have respect for the Creole. I have Creoles in my family. I have first cousins that are Creoles and all. And we're ready for this fight. I'm so determined. Yeah? Lord, I just want this election to say it's tomorrow. But I'm fighting though. It's a battle to free my people. And I'm telling you, people tell me, this is freedom time. We have to liberate ourselves. You understand? And we have Creoles that are ready to fight with us. And we'll fight this battle together and it's freedom time. Let's talk about some of the things you've mentioned earlier. Other um, people who've won the mayoral seat in Freetown have failed in addressing some of those things, be it sanitation, be it water, be it health, even um, proper supervision of um, the schools under the purview of the Freetown city. Now, what gives you that, that assurance or that optimism that you would succeed in all of these areas? In fixing this Freetown problem? Right. I don't want to disrespect the past mayors, you understand? But for me, fixing Freetown problem, it's not a rocket science. Seriously, it's not a rocket science. You know, Freetown, let me tell you something. You see, one, one way the council have, have got things wrong is by not recognizing the tribal headmen or tribal local chiefs in Freetown. Freetown is, is a cosmopolitan city. Yeah, there should be a utmost respect, yeah, for our tribal chiefs and all our tribal headmen. That's why in my manifesto, one of the things there is all tribal headmen in Freetown, yeah, will be entitled to a city council police officer. You understand? We want to make sure that these tribal headmen feel so much important that they will participate in the lo local day or local everyday running of our municipality. These people are dealing with the communities. They're there. You go to Kamayama. You understand? There's an area chief. There's a Limba chief, Mende chief, Kuanko chief in every area. Go to Kuntolo, go to Ogu, go to Kalbaton, go to Wellington. You have these chiefs there. So why are we not making use of these chiefs? Why are we not setting the rules around them? Why are we not making them important? You understand? Let them be part of the local governance. And they should be. You understand? So most of these things, why are they getting it wrong? Because the people that, is, that are actually dealing with the communities, you understand, are not involved. The councillors are not in a constituency constituency um, uh, um, level, they're in a ward level. You understand? The law makes provision for a ward level mainly because they want to make sure everybody involved. So what do you need to do? You have councillors. Make use of these local chiefs. Make use of these mandate chiefs, the Kuanko chiefs, the local chiefs, the social chiefs. Make use of them. Make them feel part of it. It's inclusion. Don't disregard them. Do you understand? Don't disregard them. I'm telling you, my brother, we're going to be great later. All of this problem is because, you understand, we've been tied. And this time we have to free ourselves. In this quest of liberation of yours, there are problems associated with the slum community in Freetown. When it rains, there are flash floods. Um, people would eventually lose their properties, their livelihoods, and all of that. What, what are your plans around um, dealing with issues around the slum community? Well, I've started it already. I have started it already. I'm going down there. I'm dealing with their issues. I'm solving their problems. I have a relationship with them. You understand? I've started it already. The plans are there. And I'm telling you, my leadership as a Freetown City Mayor, we're going to make sure our people live in a life of dignity. You understand? My brother, I'm telling you, Samuel, you know, he said, who feels it, knows it. 
who feels it knows it. That's all I'll say. I've been there. Mm-hmm. You understand? I'm a bubble pain. I grew up in Freetown. I went to school with barefoot. I play both kiddie. Mm-hmm. I've been there. I'm a magazine kissy boy, Eastern boy, proper Eastern boy. I've been there. I know how to fix the problem because I've been part of the problem. You understand? That's all I've said. So what, what, when you mentioned you've been fixing some of the things, what have you been doing? What have you been doing in the problem? Moab, they were struggling with water supply. Yeah? Now today, I've provided water for them. Kube, they have a problem to connect, you know, the Kintom community and there's always problem. They are in season. There will always be deaths and all of that. I fixed the bridge. I'm currently fixing the bridge I'm down in um, Susan Bay. You understand? I'm also constructing a drainage at, um, what do you call it? Um, Moa. Colbert. You know, it's at Colbert by Kisi Dump Site. I was there the other day. I've cleared their, their waterway. My brother, I'm doing it already. There's a lot more. There is a lot more. I'm so confident. You see? Anyway, I'll go with your question. <laughs> I was just going to ask. Mohamed Gento Kamara is known to be a successful businessman and entrepreneur that has contributed in diverse ways to the growth of this country. Now, do you see yourself as someone who can actually take those developmental strides to another level by getting yourself into the mayoral office? I see myself, yes. Um, let me say this to you, Sam. Um, you know, I see life as a marathon and not a sprint. I like to take my time. And also, I believe my tomorrow depends on what I do today. Yeah? Freetown is struggling. Yeah? Freetown is crying. It is my hometown. You know, that if I don't step up with all these resources, then I will blame myself, you know. I know I have what it takes to fix this problem. Yeah? But why not? You know, you know, in life, there's time that you have to give back to society. And I love giving back to society. All I will say to you, I think, I should be the one that should step up to the Kintonian. Yeah? And let us fix this problem. With my resources, I know I will get there, you know? And with my background, with my intelligence, you know that? I know I will fix the problem. So that's why I'm here. You know, it's nothing to do with um, what a lot of other people are saying. But my focus is to make sure every household in Freetown you know, entitled to proper drinking water. How have you been received within and around Freetown by the people of Freetown? With love. With love. You understand? With love. You know, I'm telling you, Samuel, my people, when I go out there, I feel obliged. I know that, yes, I need to fix this problem for them. People want change. People want to fix this problem. People are ready. You will see the host. I'm telling you. People are fed up. You understand? People are fed up. So let us fix the problem. There are some critical areas. Uh, for example, we have thought around the same switch during the revenue mobilization. And how do you hope to raise money to undertake some of the activities? You cannot, you see, revenue is very simple. Yeah? You cannot seek revenue if you don't have avenue. You have to first create the avenue. Our markets are not conducive. They're not conducive. You know that? We have to properly fix our market A. We have to make sure these market A are conducive. Most of the time, it's ladies that are going to the market. 
You understand? You don't want to give them a rugged area. You want to make sure it's well paved. It's decent enough. You know? You know? We have to treat our traders with respect. We have to relocate them out of the street. But where are we taking them to? Where are we taking them to? One agent to come out is coming to fix that problem. Have a conducive market area to take them, you understand, know, and ask them to pay the tax for it. We can do it. We can do it. You know? These are things that it's very simple. Because the avenue, so long as you have the market and it's conducive, the market people will pay their deal. So with all of this, it's just to have the people like that. If you feel the pain or you're feeling the pain of our local interest, then you know our local issue. Are important to everyone. Yes, we need to have money in the So, so, so let, let, let's look at what would be your outreach in terms of how open is the office? Because we've seen um, over time, um, people, if we turn around to the people, have been complaining of not having access to the which is not belong to the popularity. The power, so for example, it's the things we see people who are in the like the yes, I think a lot of people do not have access. It's you know, just seen it. It's the SRT is simple. What what is your approach? This is the local government, the local council. You have to deal with local people. You understand? So you all obviously have to have an open door. Because you need to deal with the people, you need to relate with them. It's local council, it's the local government. My policies are set to have open doors. That's why you see, even my one inmate is not only a reverend, he's also a school teacher. It's about inclusion. I want people to be part of this. We have to succeed. You know, in life, there's two things. There are things you want to do, and there are things that you have to do. For me, this is something that we have to do. It just takes that discipline and dedication. You know? If you don't have the discipline, you don't have the dedication, you don't have the background, how will you be able to fix the problem? You will not be able to fix the problem. You go there like any shwen shwen. You understand? Aristocrat. You know? Come on, my brother. You know? This business is not for aristocrat. This business is for Bobo Pain. The man that has gone through the struggles. The man that understands what it means to wake up in the morning at 3 o'clock to fetch water. The man that knows what it means to go through the municipal primary school. You know? The man that plays both students. You know? Up Kisi Kresia. You know? The man that was running up and down mile and field. The man that knows what it feels like to play football. You know? On a bare floor. With bare foot. That's what you need. And this is who Mohamed Gento Kamara is. Who feels it, knows it. You understand? Mohamed Gentle Command knows it. And Mohamed Gentle Command will fix it. What are you trying to liberate Freetown and Freetonians from? Mess. You understand? Mess. Absolute mess. It's a mess. We're living like slaves. Look the amount of rain we have in this country. We have a lot of catchment areas throughout the year. Yeah? What's our west down to the sea? Even Guma Valley. August. Yeah? It will overflow every August. And still we're struggling for water. My brother, that's slavery. That's modern slavery. 
Oh, you get water. Rain they come beaucoup, beaucoup one. Yeah? Then still you the struggle for water. I cannot comprehend that. I cannot in any way. You understand? It's just because you don't care about the people. And this is a local issue. It's a local problem. It's something that the local government should fix. This is not a central government problem. In England, all of these utility services were under the local government still. You know? They hand them out to private companies. It's, it's the local company, the local council. That's the responsibility of a local council. But you know what? You see, I'm doing my own bit. I'm doing my own bit. I'm asking the voters, but for me, it's all up to them. Me, I thank God with what I have. I'm living my life and I'm happy. Yeah? But I just know I should step up for my people. I don't want my people to take arms. I know how much they feel suppressed. I know how much they feel marginalized. I know. But freedom is here. Mohammed Gentekama is here. Yeah? Water supply in our households will not be a problem with Mohammed Gentekama's name. When, if you win, what would be your plans for the first 100 days in office? My first 100 days, first of all, I have to make sure most of our high streets, yeah, are lights, with street lights. You understand? You know, we tomboy, well, you know, when we're here, when we're growing up, we have that music they call Free Town TP Collection. You know that tune? Well, Lord have mercy. That's a tune. Damn say, damn say, yeah. Free town TP collection. Mm -hmm. We went to we we really really need to get back to those days, my brother. My brother, growing up in Free Town, telling you, we really need to fix our Free Town back. You know, our social life. You understand? Let us have street life. Let us build the municipal schools. Yeah, water for everyone. My first hundred days, my brother, boy, gentle is a Yankee boy. Oh, I'm a young boy, sweet town boy. Don't worry about that. Well, you know what I mean? Hey, Lord of mercy, we're fixing the problem. And we're fixing it the Plutonian way with style. With style. All right. Let, let's just allow you to speak to Plutonians as to why should they vote in Mohammed Gentle Kamara as the mayor of the municipality called you. Mohamed Jentukama have what it takes. Mohamed Jentukama have been there, seen it. You understand? Mohamed Jentukama is the bubble pain that have succeeded in life, that knows your problem. You understand? Mohamed Jentukama is that Eastern magazine kissy boy. You understand? That knows how to fix the problem because I've been through it. I've gone through it. My brother, I went to Kisi Primary Municipal School. I went to Ahmadiyya Muslim Secondary School. Yeah. You know? I'm telling you, I know. If you don't know it, if you don't feel the problem, you will not be able to fix it. This problem, not of us, where, where you need proper man. You understand that when they fall in sleep, get to the ground and fix the problems. This is not a desk problem. This is a proper CEO problem. Somebody that is result oriented. You understand? And that's who more to come out. I've done things. You know? Grassroots, East Alliance team manager, Leon Star team manager. You understand? All of those places, when I was there, people saw the differences. When I was about to build Il Cotro, people said, it's not possible. Mommy, come on. Hey, boy. I, look at it. I've done it, my brother. For me, 
It's only impossible if you think it is. We should fix this problem. And we're not fixing it for, for nobody, but for ourselves. So, Pretonians, make your choice. Your choice should be more emergent to come out. Because you know me. You've heard about me. You understand? You know I'm a result-oriented person. Come on. The other day I was reading some article about our sister, you know, was part of the Hilton Hotel, Cape Sierra Hotel construction. Look how that, come on, for God's sake. You're comparing someone that has demolished Sierra Leonean jobs. Over hundreds of Sierra Leoneans that were working at Cape Sierra Hotel. Not only you demolish, demolish the building, you demolished Sierra Leonean jobs. You're comparing that person to Mohamed Jento Kamara that is creating jobs. My brother, come on. We need to be focused. This is pretty It's about us. Let us fix this problem. Let us fix this problem. It's about competency. Anyway, Petonians voted you vote. The, the aristocratic republic in front of you. And she's been there for five years. Why do you think you will now come and unseat her? Five years doing nothing. Five years doing nothing. All about grammar. All about donor funding projects. My brother, let me tell you, no disrespect to Ivo. Yeah, I know even in a way I have respect for her. But when it comes to the city council, I know she cannot do it. Even me, 2018, I voted for Yvonne. Let me confess that to you, my brother. Even me, I was convinced with the fact that, yes, we don't get this from sister, we don't come. Now, world be done there, England. In it, I mean, he understand the score. He go do like I'll be the one in England. She failed me. She failed us. You understand? She failed me. She failed us. Five years, I have nothing to show for. Yeah? Let's put it straight, yeah? Ivan is a... She's a very intelligent, intellectual woman. Yeah? You're in an institution like the city council. You will go and bring a delivery team, knowing fully that that delivery team, the law of the council, that you should go through a council meeting and get what you call like a resolution to allow them to work, to work. No. What she did, yeah, without going through the council, she had a parallel committee called the delivery team. That's not competency. You're bringing the old institution into disrepute. Into disrepute. She keep fighting with the deputy mayor. She keep fighting with the CA, fighting with the councillor. They said it the other day on the radio. How can you deliver? It's competence, remember. It's leadership. Now you can see why after 11, 12 years, there's nothing to show for Cape Sierra Hotel. Civilians are languishing, looking for jobs, and you're destroying jobs. My brother, you understand? This time, yeah? We are one agent to come out of the bubble pain. They fix this problem. And we're doing it, you understand? The intelligent, radical way. What, what, what are your final thoughts um, in this interview as we wrap up? My thought is, I'm just, my ball is on, my eyes on the ball for election day. It's about winning the election. It's about freeing my people. I keep saying, liberation time. We need to liberate free town. You understand? We need to liberate. Even, like I said, I have respect for her. But this is not a job for her. This is not a job for her. She's been there. She, she will not be able to do it. You know, you, you know, bro, you want my way to fall in sleep, bro. You understand? You man, you are, you, my brother. Let's just wait for the election. 
My thoughts here is all about people to understand that this is not about tribe. It's not about Kyo, Timinimba, Loko. It's about inclusion. Let us all participate. Let us all belong. Let us fix this problem. Quitonians, we all should understand that not having water in your house is slavery. More so when we have enough rain in this country. Yeah? For what kind of dirty, dirty streets? Now slavery. Come on. It's not magic to fix it. Why are we going through all this? We've been going through this because we've been voting for the wrong people. You understand? This time around, one man to come out his hair. You understand? And you know my background. I'm a result-oriented person. Somewhere, when I was in the UK, you understand? I started my mobile phone business, you know, from way back in the 90s and everything. From one shop to second shop to third shop, I went into real estate business. I was buying houses, selling houses, renting houses. I was working with Christie Investment. I was doing my own bits. Come on. It's Chijan Kaba that asked me to come to this country. And when I came, his office that he was using before he became the president on a Saturday, he took me down Wal Walpole Street. Up. Put it up for me. Say, Mohammed Gentle, take this office. Now I'll use as office. And when he brought me, he said to me, you're doing well in England, but I want to make sure you come as a young man to give hope to young people. Chijan Kaba brought me to Sierra Leone back again to give hope to young people. And I have to stand up now to make sure that hope, you understand, is here. And Mohamed Jento Kama, you understand, is going to liberate Kuntan. Well, thank you very much, Mohamed Jento Kama. It's been a pleasure having you here. And there you have it from um, the man who is vying for the mayoral seat of Freetown Municipality. And um, you've gotten all what you need to get from him. And he has espoused his policies, his plans to run Freetown if you elect him as the next mayor. Until we meet again, my name is Samuel Welcome.